Hey, this is American Lonsdale fan, and I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to get into the debate, and the debate is very simple. Tip down, or tip up. So real quick, I had a really simple philosophy about tip up versus tip down carry. And for illustration purposes, I'm going to use these two. This is the Zero Tolerance 456. And this is the Kaiser Mikhail Williamson knife, also known as the Maddox, uh, which I've been carrying a lot. Now, in this case, on the zero tolerance, it is only allowed for tip up carry, left or right. In this case, it allows for tip up or tip down, but only right hand. So, but for illustrative purposes, we're gonna go tip up, tip down, and we're gonna go into this debate. now. I had a real simple philosophy about this. It really came down to personal preference. Why did I get into this debate? And why did I make this video? Very simple. Because personally, I think that the proponents of both sides have done some pretty shady things, put out some pretty shady uh, um, or very misleading videos, not just for the amateur YouTube guys like myself, but also the so-called knife experts have really done some really, uh, really cheesy and really uh, dishonest things uh, just to make their point. Okay, so if you are a tip down proponent, or a lot of the tip down proponents do this, is they like to argue this. For all of those people who like tip up, they say, well, there's a problem here. It fits in your pocket and when you go to grab it, look at this, and then you gotta scoot your hand up before you open the knife. And they'll even use the term scooching up the knife. So I pull it out of my pocket and then my finger can't re reach the flipper or the thumb side. So I got to move it before I deploy the knife. BS. But, of course, when I pull the knife from uh, tip down, all of a sudden I'm right where I need to be. If you notice my finger's on the flipper or my thumb's on the thumb stud, and I can open up the knife without issue. Not to be outdone... The tip-up proponents like to say that, well, the problem with tip-down is when you go to pull it like this, look, there's no skin in the game. You just got two fingers in here and so forth. And, uh, you know, when you go to pull it out of your pocket, you got to then all of a sudden flip it and deploy the knife and it becomes very slow. And what if you drop this during stress and so forth? Well, that's also bullshit. Let's clear that one. Okay, real quick. So we're going to go over both the tip up and tip down. We'll start with the CZ, which is only goes for tip up. So we go to the argument that uh, tip up is a bad form of carry because you pull the knife like this and then you got to scooch it up. Okay, hopefully nobody's doing that that way. Hopefully everybody knows the blade is on the seam of your pants. You drive your thumb down into the thumb into your pocket and it's riding along the edge of the handle not the blade so that when you do pull it oh well, look at that you got a handful of knife and of course your either your index finger is by the flipper or your thumb is by the thumb stud so it can be done in one smooth action without issue so hopefully nobody is doing this Okay, not to be outdone, for the tip-up proponents, let's make the same argument with the other way. Dip down. Hopefully nobody is doing two-finger pinch with just your thumb and your finger and holding it way out here where you can drop it. Hopefully they're also driving the thumb. They don't have to drive it quite as deep. Drive the thumb in, pull it up. And if you notice, all you got to do, it's um, shortened down a little bit, but all you have to do from here is just turn your hand over, open the knife. There's also another way of doing it. So instead of just turning your hand and opening the blade, put your thumb here, you drive it along the seam. The seam of your pocket will actually turn the handle over and open it up, just like so. 
So hopefully nobody is going like this in order to open up your knife. Okay, getting back to the argument, tip up, tip down. Ultimately, it's, it's up to you, the user. You're the one who's gonna be carrying it, you're the one who's gonna be deploying it. So how comfortable is it for you is what you should choose. A big thing might be sometimes is the design of your knife too. It's a very slim, small knife. And more importantly is, if you notice, it's, there's nothing to really catch when you pull the knife. Even the flipper, if you notice, is not very, uh, doesn't protrude that much. So yes, being that it's a smaller knife, being that you can reach in and grab uh, the entire, uh, pretty much the entire length of the handle, then yes, it might make sense to do tip up because it's easy, it's quick, boom, it's ready to go. However, with some other designs, for the record, it works tip down, tip up, both real well. But what I do, did find is, if you look at the silhouette of the knife, when it's in tip down version, there's nothing that's going to block in your pocket pulling it out. It's just gonna nice and cleanly come out versus when you have tip up. It gets a little wider here. Also this flipper, which does protrude out a little more, it could uh, potentially catch in there. So the knife design can make all the difference in the world. Another thing that can make all the difference in the world are the pocket clips. Um, I've noticed that uh, ZT uh, factory pocket clips are very, very stout. I mean, they're, they're well made, but they're, they really grab onto the pocket. They don't let anything slip out. If you look at this one, this is a titanium clip and it grips your pocket very well uh, with, for me, though, it slips out a lot easier, particularly when wearing uh, baggier pants or pockets. And that's the other thing. If you're used to always wearing denim jeans, um, there's going to be a difference in deploying a knife versus when you um, wear, say, like cargo shorts with a slanted pocket and they're very uh, baggy. Stronger clips can actually catch on those and it kind of interferes with deploying them. So it's just something else to think about. Once again, it's still your choice. And the last one I'll think about is, um, let's talk about some mild, mild advantages. Uh, I don't go with the whole thing of, you know, is one safer than the other um, in terms of what happens if the knife comes open. What um, tip down uh, proponents like to say is when the knife comes open like this, you could actually cut your hand by reaching into it. Well, that's an easy fix. Um, so that's that's uh, one thing to keep in mind. Make sure that your knife has a good detent, but getting back to fixing the issue or the safety issue with uh, tip up is have a good detent, make sure the thing is closed and that the blade is along the seam of your pocket. And when you do reach in for your uh, pocket for anything, the knife or something else, make sure you're reaching in this way. So that's a quick fix. Others like to talk about the tip-up proponents like to say, well, what happens when this opens and you have to sit down or something? Well, that same thing. You can do the same thing in terms of always making sure that the knife is closed, there's a good detent. Um, if you reach in your pocket, you're gonna know if the blade is open. Um, you just gotta worry about making sure that you don't sit down and this thing accidentally stabs you, although there shouldn't be too much problem. You can also switch it around by placing the blade against the seam or even putting this in your back pocket and still being able to open without a problem. Some mild, mild um, advantages, one versus the other. And that's this. Tip up might be marginally, and I say really marginally faster in the sense that there's, uh, there's only essentially four steps to deploying this knife and I'm talking self-defense and stuff I'm not going to really get into hold tactical knife fighting you know bullshit but for the sake of argument only it takes about four different steps to deploy a tip-up carry so essentially one go ahead and shove your thumb in two bring the knife out three deploy it and then four like any knife adjust the grip 
So once again, one, two, three, four. Theoretically, for tip down, there's five steps. So there's one, gripping the knife, two, um, pulling it from the pocket, three, either turning it in your hand to get a better grip because you don't want to hold it this way, either turning your hand or using that technique of sliding it along the seam, four is opening, five is uh, actually uh, changing the grip. Is uh, tip up marginally faster? Yeah, keyword, marginally faster. What's more important is how smooth you can pull the knife. Um, mild advantage that tip down does have is this. You notice when I place tip up in my pocket, what's naturally going to happen is my elbow is going to come out and back, either this way or this way, when I open the knife, as fast as that is. The tip down, it doesn't have to because I can still bring it straight up if I need to. Mild thing about this is you might find this difficult to deploy in a very compromised position. Imagine deploying the knife tip up when you're seated in your car, seat belt on, um, when you're kneeling, when you're on the ground doing ground defense or something. Could you pull this as easily? I think no, you'd have some difficulty. And that just has to do with the fact that you're jamming your thumb in so deep, but now your hip is is uh, turned up, your pocket is, is uh, crunching against itself. Uh, there could be an object behind you, so the elbow kind of gets in the way. So it might be a little more difficult to deploy in a compromised situation. This one is marginally easier, I said marginally, because there's different ways to grab it and you can still grab it by just bending the elbow and not sticking the elbow out. I can just, if I put the knife in my pocket like so, I just pull it out like so. Um, you might find it easier to deploy, like I said, seated in a car with your suit belt on, being on the ground, um, kneeling, whatever. So, marginal difference. Okay, the bottom line is, it's up to you. You choose how you want to carry this knife. And don't pick on other people just because they might carry it differently. And last and not least, if you want to make a sound argument for your school of thought, just focus on your school of thought. Don't try to cut down other people's. So that's all I got. So God bless you and those you love.